hey guys welcome back to my channel so guys today we are going to continue from where we stopped in my last video that's the best way to have a pocket friendly wedding in 2024 so in our last video we stopped at number seven points so we are going to continue from there we are going to do from eight to 13 points so guys let's start immediately so the next thing you are going to call down if you are going to have a pocket friendly wedding in 2024 is wedding invitation cards yes a lot of people spend so much in their wedding invitation card guys there are a lot of ways you can cut down expenses in this aspect all you just need mainly is just someone that will design the card for you you may not really need to print it out you may not really need the hard copy of that wedding card you can just go for soft copy all through all you just need to do is to get the emails of the people you are going to send this ivs to send it to their emails if it is people that are in whatsapp you can as well send it to their whatsapps you can send it to their facebook messengers and all that you've done your invitation so you don't need to you know print out the hard copy and start moving from one office to the other and start visiting people except just few persons you can just visit few persons that really 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 matter maybe like your chairman and the rest of them you can just visit few persons and inform them with wine or whatever so but the IV you must have sent to their email as well so you don't need to print out the hard copy of your uh, wedding invitation card because doing that will make you spend a lot of money so to cut down expenses you don't need a hard copy of your invitation card let everything be uh, online do all your IV in you know online you don't need to print out anything that will make you spend a lot of money so you only need someone that will design the card for you and that is all you do your invitation you do your uh, necessary things send invitation to the necessary people or to the people that you want to invite for the wedding so you don't need to spend so much in printing out card and all that because that will make you spend a lot of money i believe you buy this idea yeah and lots of people do that these days you don't really need to start printing out a uh, wedding card that's just like wasting money so that's it so number nine thing we are going to consider is bridal shower or bachelorette party i don't think that's necessary guys when we did our own wedding there was nothing like that and heaven did not let loose that's it i don't think it's necessary that's i see it as spending money unnecessarily and inviting people when you are not supposed to you know i've heard a lot of things that happen during this uh bridal shower bachelorette party or whatever they call it a lot of things happen a lot of brides have lost their husband to be you know during this time i've seen a lot of cases like that that the groom ends up sleeping with the bride's friends or friend and some of them will get pregnant in the process and that will become an issue in their wedding so you find out that this will also give a kind of loophole opportunity for enemies to attack because the truth is that a lot of friends are not happy with you that's the truth the bitter truth you need to swallow a lot of friends are not happy with you so they may like to they may likely try to get your husband by all means and this is an opportunity for them to have access so i don't think that that's bridal shower bachelorette party and the rest is necessary just fix your wedding let your wedding be your wedding let the day be your wedding day and nothing more nothing like bridal shower is not needed you start inviting you don't even know the friends that are happy with you and the ones that are not happy with you. so to call down expenses you don't need bridal shower you don't need the bachelorette party or whatever is not needed because that's just spending extra money unnecessarily cut it off so that's by the way. So number 10 points we are going to look at is wedding gown. Yes, you mustn't go for a very expensive wedding gown. You mustn't sew your wedding gown. It's not even needed. And if you're going to hire, please hire the wedding gown you can afford. Don't go for something that you know will choke you. 
you'll not be able to pay. No, I have this friend in my Facebook that deals, she deals in hiring of wedding gowns and stuff like that. I know she has posted a lot of things concerning brides that will pay uh, advance for their wedding gown. And on the day of the wedding, they keep on begging her to release the wedding gown for them because they can't pay the remaining balance. And some of them will tell her that, ah, after the wedding, I will pay up. She will tell them, no. she has disappointed a lot of them. And I was so angry with myself. I said, why would somebody go for something you know that you cannot afford? Why, why can't some ladies just go for something they know they can afford, their man can afford? If then they cannot pay for it, let their man be the one to pay, the one he can afford. Don't push him into doing something that you know that he won't be able to carry. So it's, he had posted a lot of things. So in fact, there was a day she posted the one. On a Saturday morning, the bride was about running mad. She was begging this lady to release the wedding gown. She said she cannot release it until she pays the full um, amount of money that is needed for the hiring. If not, that she can't have the gown. And before you know it, she transferred the money back to the woman that she cannot give her the, or cannot release the gun if she has not paid the full amount of money she needs to pay for it. So why can't some ladies go for something they can afford? There are cheaper guns. You know. The woman was like, there are other cheaper guns. She gave this woman other options, but she said, no, she must go for this particular one. And at the end, she was not able to pay off for the hiring. So please, cut down. That wedding gown is not what will define how your marriage is going to be. Please. Go for something you can afford. Go for something that your husband can afford if he's the one paying for it. Go for something you can afford if you're the one paying for the gown. Don't go and carry something that you'll not be able to pay for. So call down, go for the wedding gown you can afford, and that is okay. So number 11 points we are going to look at is hiring an MC. Yes, a lot of people spend money in hiring MC for their reception, just like I said. If you buy the idea I gave you, you don't even need to hire an MC. Anybody can handle that. Even within your church members, you can see some people that are naturally funny. They can handle that for you. Just tell them, please help me out. I don't really want to uh, you know, get an MC. Can you help me do this? Friends can as well do this for you. Family members can do this for you. Even if you decide to do your reception in a hall out there, you can get someone who can help you do the MC work. You don't, need, you don't really need to pay anybody for that. So it's something that is a job that People can easily do. You understand? So you don't need to go and spend so much money in getting an MC when you have a lot of friends, you have a lot of relatives that can actually handle this. So you can hire any of them. You can just bring in any of them. They will do that for you without spending any money. The number 12 thing we are going to look at is the wedding ring. Yes, the wedding ring is another thing we need to consider. But in this aspect, I will also tell people that for me, I like my wedding gown to be, sorry, my wedding ring to be gold because this is something that you wear for the rest of your life. So if you have money for gold, that is okay. That's beautiful. You can go for gold and get it because it's something that you wear for years, for the rest of your life. So gold is okay. Gold is good. You can go for it. But if you cannot be able to afford it or your husband today cannot afford it, um, and go for any cheaper ring that you guys can afford. So in this aspect, please, I wouldn't advise you to go for this or go for that. Just go for what you can afford. But for me, I prefer good wedding ring because it will also help you a lot. The money you keep on spending buying, Mm, wedding ring every time maybe yearly and all that if you gather them together you can just use it and buy it, uh, a good wedding ring and all that so it all depends on what you can carry that's i'm not really going to talk so much about this aspect because it depends on your pocket how you want it that's okay but go for what you can afford so number 13 thing we are going to consider which is the last one we are going to consider for today is wedding souvenirs Yes, wedding souvenirs is another thing that a lot of people spend money on. Also look at things you can afford. You must not give gifts. If there is no money anywhere for it, you can avoid it. But if you must give gifts to your guests, you can go for something cheaper that you don't need to really spend so much on. 
Some people can go for a small jotter, just a small jotter. You won't need to spend so much on it. You can also go for a pen. Some people go for as cheap as pen. They can just buy pen and share to their guests, and that is okay. So all depends on what you want. But left for me, I will advise you to go for something that you don't need to spend so much on. Some people don't even get at all. You mustn't give souvenir to people if there is no money for it. So this is also another aspect. You can cut down your expenses. You can decide to get any cheap, any souvenir that you know that you can afford comfortably, give to people, and that is okay. Don't go for something uh, very expensive because others are buying it. No, you're not competing with anybody. Just do things that you know you can afford, you can comfortably do, and that is all. So these are the things that, the major, major things a lot of people do during wedding a lot of things that people spend so much on. These are some of the things a lot of people spend so much on. So I believe that with this video, it will help you to cut down in some of these things. And by so doing, you have a pocket-friendly wedding that you don't need to borrow money for it. You don't need to spend so much for your wedding. Even after your wedding, you live so comfortably with your spouse without owing anybody. So guys, thank you for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video. And please do remember to subscribe to my channel once again, like, comment, and share this video. So guys, thanks for your time, and see you soon. Bye for now.